Okay, so we are at Eco Sanctuary today. So you are staying right next to a nature reserve. So if you like to stay in Chestnut Avenue, this was a project that has been TOP in year 2016. There's about 483 units here. We're going to Tower C to see a fantastic two bedroom with a great view of the nature reserve of Singapore. Let's go and have a look. All right, so we're in the unit now and uh, this is a two bedroom and the size is 667 square feet. There's only three blocks at Eco Sanctuary and this block actually when it was launched, I think it was the premium of the premium because although every block have different great facing but if you like this view, you can actually see Malaysia. That means you're facing towards true north. Fronting here is all greenery throughout. This is going to be your view for the rest of your life if you were to stay here. If I were to open up the balcony glass door, I think my hair is going to be messy. But let me just demonstrate to you. Alright, so this is what it's going to feel like. And this is really awesome because it's great greenery view. Okay, so if you were to look at the map, you are going to notice that actually you are just at the fringe of the entire nature reserve of Singapore. So you are just staying right at the fringe area and that is so awesome because you're going to get the best fresh air in Singapore ever. Now heading back here, this is an English Victorian style. Now owners are actually the first owner. They bought direct for developer. The land is 99 years land at Eco Sanctuary. Tenor begins in 2012. Completion was in 2016. So it's only about three odd years. And uh, they actually spent close to about 40 plus 50,000 to renovate into this English Victorian style. They changed every possible door, every possible knob. The development actually comes with this very nice built-in dining table come Kitchen Island. That can easily fit in about five seater here. So you can fit in four chairs and then one more here. Just have your meals right here. This is where you keep your washer come dryer. And then your Bosch oven is your induction cooker, cooker hood. And not forgetting, your Bosch fridge plus freezer is right here, all right? Some of the layouts does not allow you to have this kind of U-shaped fashion. They are usually along the side of the walkway for kitchen. So this kind of kitchen space is actually quite good in terms of the layout spacing. So because it's 667 square feet and uh, you need to build your own storage. So this is already built for you because it does not come with either a home shelter. There's no utility room. So this serves great purpose. Bottom is for shoes. Top is for whatever that you need. So our owners has actually customized the interior uh, shelving rack height so that you can fit in like your ironing board and your vacuum cleaners everything can just all be tucked inside so that your place don't look too cluttered in a sense now the ceiling is 3.2 meters so take a look at that height above the Daikin aircon uh, that is the true height my owners has already done the four ceiling which is why we can actually put in these beautiful spotlights so you have two aircons for the living and the dining space and the flooring actually is good material. This is marble flooring. It's really cooling for marble. And so marble, the best thing is that you can keep polishing it, but of course don't do it too many times. Okay, coming back to the room here is that. Check out this uh, DB box area, all right? The door has been changed to the English Victorian style. So it's already done for you. And then common bathroom. The size is great. So There's ventilation window in the bathroom. Standing shower comes with a lot of inner storage beneath the mirror and this portion here as well And then you have bottom storage space also that you can just Put in a lot of stuff inside and just to give you a bit of backdrop is that this wall has been modified All right, so let me just show you Okay, so by right here is the entryway for your main door to this bedroom here was a piece of wall right here So uh, this used to be like the wardrobe space So what the owners has done is that they have modified it because they wanted to have like a more open concept Yet at the same time it can be used as a bedroom because they have also installed like the blinds internally so you can actually close it up you can actually pull down the blind let me just demo to you so it can still be used as a bedroom in the evening you just need to open up so they have also then relocated the wardrobe and they have built a brand new one that's full height right here with the victorian style sliding panel door 
and it's now stuck at the corner. This is a movable display shelf with built-in storage. At the same time, there's a baby's room right now. If you want to switch it back to a bedroom, it's definitely possible because uh, this is movable. So you can just fit in your bed at this corner. This part you can use like for a little study table area. You still have great view right here and it's the same facing throughout all the bedrooms with the living room. All right, let's hit to the master. Okay, so the master is great because we love this door and we try to close it. All right, so especially for dog lovers, check out this space right here. Your dog can just come in. There's like a little dog flappy thing at the bottom. And this is your ensuite sliding panels door. It's really clever. So it does not jut out into a bedroom space. And at the same time, very decent standing shower space with standing rain shower at the top. All right, so you have two sliding panel right here for your master wardrobe space and at the top there's still like four good size panels to put in all the linens and blankets and stuff like that at the side there's actually like a ventilation window and over here three windows are all openable which is really great so you can have very good breeze from the nature reserve coming in and uh, this is actually now a queen bed with two side tables you can sacrifice one side table so that you can then have like a king bed version but once you put in a king bed uh, you can still have one side table on the exterior side so the owners also have done this like mini installation right here so you can put in your players and stuff and things like that and uh, if you can visualize, there is a, like a little baby cot here, which means that if I were to remove it, you still have good walking space at the same time. So let's head back outside. And not forgetting to mention the flooring in the two rooms are nice timber wood and the owner has actually darkened it. And oh my goodness, let's check out this view when you walk right here. So it's like very Instagrammable this portion so that you feel like you're really in an English Victorian style home and you would look at a site plan two tennis court basement parking children's playground there's a leisure pool there's sunning deck fitness stations not forgetting they have this thing called the broad walk that you can take a short jog around the entire compound and of course there's so many nature places that you can bring your kids to over the weekend it's really great right here but of course if you're looking for transportation and food over here a couple of bus stops will bring you down to the Hillview MRT station and then you can take a couple of bus stops back to Hillim Mall which is where Bukit Panjang MRT station the bus interchange is located at Real Ball is also a short drive away the hill v2 where you have some fmb options right at the shopping mall down below at the hill view area and my name is melvin lim properly lim brothers if you want to have a look at this place click on the link right down below contact one of my listings manager and we'll always be happy to show the place and don't forget to click like subscribe and share this video with your friends who love to stay in district 23 at the chestnut avenue area Eco Sanctuary. We have a two bedroom right here on an extremely high floor facing towards this fantastic view. See you. Alright, so if you like this home tour, click like, subscribe, or leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to show the place.